nothing like playing in the snow in 50 degrees. some fun today it's april 8 2024 we're gonna go do some riding in the arctic cat 1000 today is the day of the total solar eclipse it's gonna be 100 percent here in island pond vermont so that'll be pretty cool to check out before we go ahead and get this ride started i'm gonna show you my new soundbar kemi moto sent to me they market this as a utv soundbar but i don't see why it won't work on atv one of the nice things about this is it has a built-in battery now don't let that scare you because you can still wire this straight into your UTV or ATV battery and should be fully charged up. And then if you want to make it portable, you just unplug it and fully functional without being wired in. Now I'm going to go ahead and mount this back here. It's a little easier to install. It might be louder up front, but we're going to try it out here. All right, she's on. Hello, Kemi Moto. Bluetooth mode. And there's all kinds of lights on here too. A little bright out right now to see them though. You'll see how much snow is in the woods. Let's try out this stereo to begin with. Oh yeah. For being in the back like that, I can hear it pretty good. I bet if it was up front on the bumper, it would be even better. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and shut that down for now. And we're just gonna take a ride. This is gonna be kind of an old school ride. We, yeah, we're gonna run into some snow, of course. So I will throw her in full wheel drive. We're in two wheel drive right now. Just like that, full wheel drive. So yeah, I'm gonna try out these trails. Hopefully I don't get stuck. <laughs> there might be a little more snow up further. We'll see. I am trying to avoid going to town at all costs. I'm in Island Pond, Vermont, and it is some busy today. There is people everywhere. Luckily, I live up on a dead-end dirt road, so nobody's really here. I got stuck here with the ranger the other day. See. Oh, yeah. Whoa, I got some trees down. I guess I wouldn't have made it up here anyways with the ranger. Uh, let's see. Well, we got decent clearance, but I don't think I can get around that one. Hmm. Uh, maybe I can go this way. Didn't bring us out with me. Oh. I can definitely fit through there if I can turn myself around. Oh yeah, I have to bring us up here. Cut it up a little bit. Oh. Yeah, it's a big branch. <laughs> there we go. Throw her back in high. Hammer down. Oh, I love this 1000 engine. Might not be the highest horsepower, but boy, it sounds good. And it's got uh, got great torque. I've uh, done test rides on this thing before. Who the heck is this? See, I told you they're everywhere. Not sure, don't really care. Anyways, continuing on. Looks like the, somebody's been up here. They had a four-wheeler on the back. Maybe they come up here on the four-wheeler. We're gonna try not to get stuck. Like I said, right here's not bad, but I've been through here with the snow machine several times, several different sleds and four-wheelers this past winter. But there's definitely some spots I haven't been on uh, the four-wheeler trails yet so we'll see how we are the snowmobile trails whatever we'll see how that goes 
I'm thinking up here. Yeah, but it is melted pretty decent here, so we might be uh, might be good. We'll see. I, like I said, I haven't been up here all winter, so there might be some trees down, even if the snows. Yeah, the stuff uh, is heavy. It's it's 50 degrees today. It might be a little warmer than that right now. It might be close to 60. I don't know. I don't think it was quite gonna get up to 60 degrees, but oh yeah, we're sinking. But this stuff is so heavy, heavy snow. We're gonna try to do the loop I usually do in the summertime. The, uh, that eclipse is actually out right now. It's starting to go, so it'd be pretty cool. But supposedly this is gonna turn black, middle of the day, we'll see. We'll get it on footage here. I think we got like, 30 minutes to go, 45 minutes to go, something like that. We got moose prints. And they look too close together. Yeah, let's see here. Yeah, definitely gonna be moose tracks. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is where I haven't been yet. And you can tell. It's pretty, pretty deep. About. We got these aggressive, whoa, <laughs> you let go of the gas and she just sends you forward because the snow's stopping you. Of course, this has engine braking as well, but we got 27 inch mud lights. These have very good tread on them. But as you can see, when we get down, this thing's got great ground clearance, but we might see, uh, we might see some issues. And up here is a little swampy, so it's gonna get muddy. We'll see. Ah, it's hard not to get on the throttle on a V-twin. <laughs> they just sound so good. Even with a stock exhaust like this one. Not bad, not bad. It's got a low enough grunt to run it right in high range. See, if you do it's low range, you'd have a little more power, but you just don't get the wheel speed when you need it. Certainly a little muddy. These things do eat up a lot of bumps and stuff. The only thing I don't care about cats, it's good. You get a lot of suspension travel, but there's no, there's no stabilizer bar on the back of these. Everything's just independent. Uh, so when you go around some corners, you definitely, feel it uh, wanting to kind of tip a little bit. Oh, I love that sound. Now some people, I don't know, one of my videos I did of this, somebody had commented they, they don't like the sound. They said it sounded like a vacuum cleaner, which you do get a lot of the air intake through here, but you hear a lot of that V-twin exhaust out the back. I don't care what you're riding, the V-Twins, any V-Twin just sounds good. The uh, Kawasaki Brute 4650, 750, or 700, the uh, Prairie, or this, uh, what else we got? The NEM V-Twins sound good. Honestly, the Sportsman, the Player Sportsman 850, oh, we would have had trouble going up this, I bet. But we're going to, I'm going to try to go up this, actually, when we get down here. The Sportsman 850 and 1000. They're inline twins, but the way they have the firing on those things and way, the way they have the pistons angled, they, them things sound just like a V-twin. They sound great. Oh yeah, we're struggling a little bit going down. Not so much struggling, but I wanna try to go back up because <laughs> I think that might stop us there. Could be wrong, especially with some tracks now. She's just biting, biting and sending it. But I tell you what, I am opening her up pretty good. Oh yeah. 
Nothing like spring snow. Oh, yeah, nice. All right, anyways, we'll get back down this, continue on. <laughs> I'm just having too much fun. I really haven't been out on the wheelers at all this year. Not, not anything even this long. It's crazy. I've been working on a lot of people's stuff, a lot of projects coming up. Um, built, I'm in the middle of building uh, that Sportsman 570 engine right now, the lifted one. That would be pretty cool to try around here, but I'm pretty sure she'd make it no problem because of the clearance that thing's got and uh, <laughs> the tires, they they got wicked tread on them. I'll probably throw this thing back in two-wheel drive. Oh man, what a beautiful day for a four-wheeler ride though. Uh, I did work a little bit today, but not much. Oh, we're running right back into the snow, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, of course, this is a little little tightly enclosed with the trees, but over up there, it's all open. There's no uh, snow to be seen. And then here you got probably a foot if I dug down at least. Sure, my camera's still going here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is pretty deep. I wouldn't want to get out, you know, for springtime snow. It's uh, yeah, definitely over a foot. My stuff is so heavy. What happens is it gets wrapped up into your axles, and it just puts a lot of weight on this thing, even in the rims. I mean, the rims aren't even cleared out. Oh. But we're doing good so far, so we don't want to jinx ourselves. <laughs> oh, come on, girl. Yeah, see, we are dragging bottom right now. I'll probably show you the lights on this thing now that we're stopped. And into a kind of a shaded area. They're pretty neat. They'll go with the music. Anyways. I like listening to music sometimes, but then again, sometimes I just like hearing the engine growl, getting those RPMs up. See, these are low RPMs. All right, wait, are we on speed? No, we're on RPMs, yeah. See, we're only doing like 6,000 RPMs, 6,500 peak. Oh, yeah, come on, girl. <laughs> oh, don't want to go off this bridge here. Oh, man, what a beautiful day. Somebody's been in here with something. Tractor, maybe? Oh, yeah, that's, uh, yep. that makes sense. Oh, we're breaking up. See the uh, water rushing down. These tracks will uh, help break it up even more. Oh, couldn't be out here on a better day though. I'm telling you what, it's that that sun is intense today. I don't know if it's because of the eclipse thing or what, but that is intense. I can't really look at it. But you get the nice cool breeze off the snow. Feels great. This thing sounds good. So, ah, skitter. Yeah, we had the skitter out. All right. A little bit of oh, I fixed that Wolverine for him. That 350. Still gonna do some work. That thing's only two-wheel drive right now. Okay. Hey, you see her. Roads breaking up a little bit, a little muddy here and there, but I've seen it a lot worse. One thing, this thing loves to cruise. Got a big tour pack and uh, rear seat for it for a second person. Then you get the foot pegs for a second person. Now this thing is geared like the Mud Pros, so it, it doesn't have, you know, a super exciting top speed. I'll go ahead and do a top speed right here. But it does, you know, it does good for what it is. 
for a big two up TRV. There we go. Now you're going to have to look at the GPS because this is on RPMs. Uh, so it looks like 7,500 RPM. She did get up there on the road. 7,500. Oh, I love that sound. Love that sound. A beautiful old cougar I just fixed up. All right, we got about 10 more minutes left for that solar eclipse. Here it is. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.